And afterwards, the key is to keep the pressure on the Trump administration to make sure that he will deliver his promise to counteract against China and Hong Kong. Well, I've been uh, uh, working as a cartoonist for about 40 years, and I've covered uh, the, most of the incidents in Hong Kong, uh, uh, from nine, uh, Tiananmen Square incidents until now. So there were a lot of things happening in Hong Kong, and then uh, I used my cartoon as a record uh, to, recording, to have recorded all that has happened in the history. Uh, we find that the most important thing in China is that they don't have press freedom. There were a lot of brilliant cartoonists inside China too. Um, with all these kind of uh, revolutions and all these uh, turmoils in China, they, they, some of the Chinese uh, cartoonists have done something, but, uh, but most of the time they can't really say what they say. They were actually protesting that they have not enough democracy in Hong Kong, and and what the government in Ch in Hong Kong has done is that uh, they have limited their their, their rights in, in Hong Kong. That makes a lot of discontent among the, the people in Hong Kong, especially the youngsters. Do you think that after this movement, what we might face is a very long term of jail? And hope that the people would understand what the, the youngsters are doing and although they might not agree with all the things they have been doing they have to, at least they have the sympathy sympathize with what 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 they think so uh, i'm quite eager to go back to hong kong and see what is happening uh, because things are changing very quickly and and as the saying goes, uh, one day is too long for politics, so uh, I have to go back.